Believe it or not, before there were air hand pieces, there were electric hand pieces. They weren't very good. So when the board and air rotor was invented, it was a big deal, a revolution. But what air hand pieces have never had much of is torque. And when you look at the original Borden air hand piece from 1957, it's amazing how little has changed. Thus, what any of us raised on air hand pieces learned to do was basically airbrush. Don't get me wrong, air hand pieces get better every year, but they still don't have a lot of torque. They never will. Air simply doesn't have enough density. It's just simple physics. Now the good news is the lack of torque doesn't matter much if you're doing simple stuff. I don't know of a peated on us using electric hand pieces, but there's the challenge. As much of dentistry becomes more precise, for example, placing implants and performing rotary endodontics, electric hand pieces have become imperative. Quite honestly, the purchase of specialty endodontic and surgical electric handpiece controllers has been a significant reason that our sister company, Ergonomic Products, has become the country's leading manufacturer of something now commonly known as a rapid cart. These narrow, tough, durable carts are made to roll quickly from room to room with the single version of your chosen specialty device. It's a great way to start using any specialty product, such as a surgical handpiece unit. Therefore, what I'm about to tell you next has every reason to hurt the sale of rapid carts. Here goes. I think many of you should be considering full adoption of technology that will enable electric integration. Don't worry, I'm not gonna starve. There are a whole bunch of dentists that haven't even begun their electric journey. They probably should start with one specialty unit of some sort today. Many of the other offices aren't going to make the full transition to electrics anytime soon. But what about those offices that perform implants and rotary endodontics on a daily or an even hourly basis? For those offices, let me try to convince you to broaden your thinking a bit. If you're using air hand pieces in your general operatories, how much do you hate sectioning a zirconia crown? And if you're still hand filing root canals at this point, that's pretty much crazy and bad for your wrists. So what if every delivery unit cut the smoothest crown possible? What if every unit could torque an implant? The answer is you'd probably do a lot more of that sort of work if it were simple to do. That's what we see in practices that have adopted universal electric handpiece use. So here's my opinion. Unless your practice specializes in simple stuff, ortho, pedo, it's pretty much time to consider going all electric. And I mean in, not patched on, no training wheels. If you do high skill work, it's time for you to integrate instrumentation. Quite honestly, we've been doing this longer than anyone else. So we do it better than anyone else. Thanks for watching.